Okay, so this is a review of the Humble House Sour Crock Fermentation Crock with glazed weights. That's five liters. I have used this thing twice so far. And like most sauerkraut fermenters, I started out with the whole gallon glass jar method, which I mean, that works for a while. It, it's a good method, but it just, I think you have to level up at some point. So I got this maybe, yeah, I got this fermentation crock two months ago. On first glance, this crock is very nice. Um, I was very impressed. It's really shiny. It has a nice ceramic finish. It's got two handles on the side. Um, you can carry it around with and so fermentation crocs, there's a few features that really make them like good for fermenting, which I mean, these things have been used for centuries or even longer than that. Even before there were probably glass jars. The first really cool thing about fermentation crocs, like this one, it has these weights that so rustic. They fit into the top of the um, crock and then they flatten out so that they actually cover a decent portion um, inside the crock so that it holds down your cabbage. The fact that you don't have to do the stupid gallon freezer ziplock bag weight method anymore because that thing is ridiculous. I don't know who came up with that. I mean, it's kind of, it's just a bad system. Um, so this is way better. Now, I still like to use primary stoppers or like the extra cabbage leaves that you get in the beginning but these weights are like these weights are next level it comes with a fermentation batting presser a sauerkraut smasher slash cabbage depressor and this is pretty much just a wooden bat and so when i saw this i was like freaking psyched because you do not know how long i've been wanting one of these as most of us who we're doing it with um, glass jars before. We just go in with our fist and we just like, we're pounding down cabbage, which is a good method. It's a little bit exhausting. It turns out that the cabbage depressor slash bat that they gave you is, that they give you is a little bit too thin, too light. It's not dense enough. It might just end up being like, your fist is actually the best thing, tool you really can't get out of fermenting cabbage without a workout so okay and then the last thing that i think is really cool about this crock and most crocks have these if they're fermenting crocks is the water seal moat slash water channel it's supposed to keep out dirt like contaminants insects critters things that are trying to eat your sauerkraut. I don't think anyone's trying to. I think another thing that's really cool about um, the water channel is that I, I'm pretty sure it acts like a sort of a one-way valve for the CO2. Most of us have been doing it so that we have our weights weighing down our organic matter and then our liquid layer, which is sort of like a valve for the air that the um, bacteria is producing. It gets above the liquid layer and then nothing can get down back through that. I think that the water channel acts as like a secondary valve. These sauerkraut crocs have been around for so long and I feel like they're really, really well designed. They're aesthetic, but they're also really, really like utilitarian. Some things that are a little bit regrettable, it's hard to wash. This is an obvious thing. It has a lot of ridges in the inside. You can't get the sauerkraut easily from in those ridges. And it's actually a pretty sharp ridge in the, um, where the lip comes in on the top. So you can wedge little pieces of cabbage in there and they, you're gonna have a tough time getting them out. But also with the ceramic weights, I accidentally put them in the dishwasher and it sort of got sand all over everything in the dishwasher. I don't know if it was the weights. I'm pretty sure it was the weights. It was like the most suspect thing in my dishwasher. So that kind of sucks. You're just gonna have to hand wash everything, which is not a big deal. And then of course the bat, 
or the depressor, it's not like that great. It's a good idea, but these guys should probably be giving you something that you can actually push the, the cabbage down with, like, well, it's, it's a gimmick. Um, but how would you know if you weren't watching this video, right? The last thing is sort of subjective a little bit, but I think a lot of us who ferment vegetables and ferment random shit, we sort of like the whole process because one part of the process that we really like is seeing what's happening to the vegetables, um, how they change, like how the colors change. I know that I used to sort of take pictures of my glass jars, like when I was starting out like every week or something. and. Um, it was like this whole cool little science project, not really. But with the fermenting crock, you can't do that. You really just put it all in. It's like a black box. You just put it in the corner, leave it there for five weeks. And anyway, so that's that might just be a personal thing. Would I recommend this product to a fellow fermenter? I think for a beginner fermenter, I would say not yet. If you're trying to get into sauerkraut, start with the gallon glass jar. That is the tried and true method of making sauerkraut in the 21st century. That's how you sort of, you know, get your reps in. Cause those things are only like $12 on Amazon. And then for people that are like trying to level up their game, I'd say if you don't have a mandolin slicer yet, that should be the next thing that you get because mandolin slicers are probably the highest bang for your buck when you're making sauerkraut. I know they're not that useful for anything else besides making sauerkraut, and if you're like make like potato chips or something, like cool. It saves you a lot of time, and it saves you a mess too. The fermenting crock, it is a good thing to get once you sort of get into fermenting. I think one of the biggest things about it is the whole aesthetic. You hold this thing and you're like, wow. I feel like I just like excavated this from a dig site. This is like a magical like vessel, like pre-refrigeration. So that's pretty much the Humble House Sour Crock Fermenter. It actually does come in white and red, and it also comes in two liters, five liters, which I have, and it comes on 10 liters. That's like, I don't know who's making 10 liters of sauerkraut. Anyway, so that's the review for today. I will see you guys later.